Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for uh, the month of July 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to email me for a price list if you don't already have it. Um, if you're wanting to uh, reach me by phone, it's a separate process. So make sure you register to be able to call, request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Um, also, be sure to check me out on uh, Patreon for the monthly Venus sign readings and check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy is the temperance. We have the six of swords. We have the nine of wands. We've got the seven of cups, four of pinnacles, nine of swords, king of wands, and princess of wands. Okay, so I feel like the overall energy is that you guys are trying to find balance and you're trying to find peace um, in your life. Um, and it also seems like there is someone that you're connected to, but you may not trust this connection. I feel like you're very suspicious um, of who is coming towards you people who are interested in you or your current love partner, period. Um, there's some trust issues going on that I feel like you're needing to overcome. Um, I kind of feel too like there is someone who may be channeling you or you're channeling each other. This is a mutual energy. And I feel like you are trying to understand it. Mm. I feel like if you, like this confirms that you do have a telepathic connection to someone, if that's what you were thinking. Like you, you were like, I feel like we have a telepathic connection, but I'm not sure. I feel like, yes, you do. This confirms it. Um, I feel like someone is naturally drawn to them as you are drawn to them, though. Like you're drawn towards each other. And, you know, maybe it's something spiritual. Whatever it is, I feel like you're confused about it or you don't know what to make of it. You also may have several... Um, options but it also seems like they're more like secret admirers people who only communicate with you through dreams or in some other strange or unusual way um i feel like someone is also living um in secret or someone is very private because of their anxiety. Hmm. I feel too like someone's been healing or like you've been healing. You've been trying to heal um, from something that happened in the past. It's like you're recovering. There's still a struggle trying to figure out who you can trust. And I feel like you're asking yourself, like, how do I get myself out of this? How do I, you know, feeling like maybe something isn't a way to live, like feeling like you don't want to live in secret or you don't want to live in fear. Um, and I feel like you are just trying to, <laughs> like, figure out how to get out of this space that you're in. How do you allow yourself to be vulnerable? Mm. Yeah. I feel too like even if you are normally a secure person, 
like someone that you really care about actually brings out your insecurities. And I'm getting several energies, but could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Capricorn, or a fire sign. Mm. Hmm. I kind of feel like your energy is blocked. Seems like you also may be having all these strange dreams and don't know what to make of it. I do feel that right now you may be too emotional to make a decision right now. I feel like your emotions are clouding your judgment or you may be looking at a situation with rose uh, through rose tinted glasses. For some of you, you may be writing your feelings, um, writing them down or either making them, doing something creative with your feelings like poetry, music, uh, art. Hmm. And I also keep getting situations where people are dealing with a coworker. So it could be that you do have a coworker that you're interested in. You also may be asking yourself, are you ready for a commitment? Or do you really want that? You may be torn between work and, you know, it's like, is it gonna be, work or are you going to be in a relationship i don't know too why it seems like a sacrifice like why can't you work and have a relationship something is coming off like having to choose one or the other also some of you are maybe lost and you don't know what it is that you're looking for or what it is that you want. Even if you're in some sort of relationship that's supposed to be perfect, something still feels off to you. Like people wouldn't understand what you're complaining about, but it's a feeling. It seems to like there's a past situation that needs to be addressed, but you're not addressing it. just kind of looks like you are locked away in a room um, just kind of doing your own thing or wanting to be left alone okay there is some sort of condition or it's making me think of this movie scene from the aviator um, talking about the life of Howard Hughes and there is this scene, I guess it, ha it happened in real life, where he locked himself in his room and he had like extreme OCD. He had lined up like these bottles of milk um, and he just couldn't stop. He couldn't break out of that. And I, I'm wondering if this is something that you're going through 
if not you, then a love interest, or maybe it's just more so like a metaphor that I'm getting this image. It's just used as a metaphor, but it seems like maybe someone is locked in a room and can't seem to get out of this prison uh, that they've created for themselves. It's like just being stuck and not wanting to come out until you are um, finished doing something that you said you were going to do. Almost like you, you're punishing yourself. Hmm. Or maybe it's that you are just working, 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 and you refuse to come up for air. You're just like working and working and working. And it's like, I don't have time for a relationship. I don't have time to love. Hmm. Hmm. Now something also looks like waiting. Like you're having to wait for something or you don't know what else to do. You feel like you've done so much and you're like, well, what else can I do now? What else should I do now? So if you're single, maybe you are just like keeping yourself busy and preoccupied. But then there are moments where you're like, okay, I did this. I did that. I don't know what else to do. When's my partner coming? Um, or it could be something going on where you're in a relationship, but you're just, you're just bored or still feel an emptiness. Hmm. If there's someone who's been trying to get your attention, I feel like they've tried several times and don't know what else to do. I'm not sure why this person isn't just deciding to approach you directly. I really feel like it's because of some sort of anxiety. Okay, so for some of you, this is about not having courage and being insecure. And I feel that there's a need to just like overcome these insecurities that you're having. It seems to like you're waiting for something to be over with. Hmm. Kind of feels like somebody is having an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Or again, something like a midlife crisis. Okay, I feel like someone can't get out of their house. They can't leave their house. Now, maybe it is because someone is under house arrest or something, but maybe someone just has some sort of disorder or you know anxiety where they can't seem to get out the house getting something in regards to a single father could be a single mother too um so some sort of single parent vibe something's going on maybe someone is feeling overwhelmed by being a single parent or someone feels like no one is good enough to be the step parent to their child
Hmm. I feel like someone may be uh, under the weather or someone's health is at risk. It still can be emotional or mental health. Mm. It's also possible that someone is watching you from afar. They're not talking. I feel like they want to, to communicate with you, but they they won't. Their pride won't let them. Mm. If you're in a relationship, it seems like it's hard to forgive somebody. I feel like maybe someone messed up. I don't know if someone had a child on you. Um, or even if it was like a brief breakup and someone went and had a child. Someone also may be using a child as bait in some way, trying to bait you by, I don't know, just through the child, some type of way, trying to get you back. It also seems like maybe there was an affair or someone is considering having an affair because they don't feel desired, needed, or want that they're feeling unappreciated or useless in the relationship and they're starting to want to creep out now. Hmm. But overall, I feel like you personally still need healing, um, whether you're single or in a relationship. If something is still some sort of healing process is still going on. All right, so hopefully these messages help. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sydney Love and Grace.